Hey peeps, how y'all doing? Today is a great day because Apple has finally decided to bring Final Cut Pro to the iPad. It is something Final Cut Pro lovers been waiting for since the adventure resolved. And today is the day. But we still have to wait till Tuesday, May 23rd. Oh, I can't believe it. They also have Logic X, I think, for the music maker, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of them, you know. Let's get back to Final Cut Pro. One thing I don't like so far is the subscription. That one, that's one of the reasons I never tried Premiere. I like the one-time payment better, you know. $4.99 for a month or $49.99 for the whole year. Yeah, that's not good, Apple. That's not good at all already on the desktop version and for on the go editing when i'm at the beach or at the airport i use my phone or ipad um i did not use iMovie because i never like it so i was using um luma fusion it's a great application by the way one time fee and you own it and last year or this year DaVinci Resolve changed the game with the free iPad version. I've been using it for the past week. Um, I even downloaded the free version for desktop and I, and I learned it from watching video on YouTube. So if Apple don't want to lose one of the loyal customers, they better have one-time payment for the final couple. Um, hi, back. Let's see what will happen. This is your boy, Jedward Production, and I'm out. Peace.